My name is Ulrich Vogt and I'm uh, coming from the Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm and uh, we are here as the first users of the Max 4 facility, uh, especially the Nanomax beamlam. And we are doing here the first X-ray microscopy experiment. As you can see here we uh, did some uh, images of test structures that we uh, fabricated at home and we see here now very nice resolution below 100 nanometer which is very very uh, small and uh, yeah it worked really well from the first day so we are very impressed that it was possible to get these nice images already in the first try. So here we see a very nice uh, image of a test sample that we have fabricated in Stockholm, uh, which is star-like patterns where we can then estimate here how well we can actually make an X-ray microscope image, how small structures we can see. And we can see here that we are somewhere below 50 nanometers, which is very nice for the first try. And if you see here on the other display, at the moment actually we are doing such a scan that then in the end leads to this type of image where yeah, the, the, the detector signal is seen here on the top where we go over the sample and we are counting and then putting together uh, the signal to a final image here. And um, <coughs> this is a very nice result for the first try. And uh, in the future we hope this, to use this microscope for interesting samples from physics, biology, and, and other, other areas. So uh, the next step then is now to um, improve the microscope and uh, to improve the optics. And we have plans now then towards the summer we have a, a new uh, yeah, microscope working which would work much better, which much better optics uh, and uh, improve this type of, of measurement. So that's really also uh, usable for a lot of people. Uh, at the moment it's an uh, expert setup, but the goal is of course to do something that is usable by many, many people without the knowledge of the background of the uh, technology that is behind it, that is uh, actually quite complicated.